Coach, just talk a little about the the focus coming into this season. Well, first and foremost, we you know we moved transition from eight to eleven man, which is a little different. Um, you know, uh, but you know, we feel like uh, what we did in eight man and working eleven man, um, probably going to be a lot of the same things with the same concepts. Now, the uh, the truth is we've um, uh, changed a little bit as far as personnel. Um, yeah, uh, graduated a lot of good kids, big kids last year, you know, a lot of power football stuff that we did. So we are going to look a little bit different, but, you know, as far as, you know, our focus this, you know, preseason, it's been still, you know, maintaining our commitment to the um, fundamentals and, you know, see where we're at. What is that biggest transition from eight man to 11 man? Um, Depth. Depth is uh, going to be a problem this year. I mean, we, you know, normally with the 21 kids we got out here, we would feel very good in an eight-man situation. And right now, you're very scared. You know, uh, we're going to have to depend on some young kids. Um, but we expected that. Um, you know, we were fortunate to get a few transfers in. You know, over the summer to, you know, we're going to make a difference. But in the end, you know, we're going to have to be kind of lucky. You know, get you know as far as the injury bug and. You know, you have to pay attention a little bit more practice of what you do. And, you know, you just can't afford to lose anybody. But I think everybody's in the same boat. You know. Talk a little about leadership on the field. Obviously, you have to have that. Who are a couple of those guys that have taken that mantle? Well, our team captains are Moy Brant and D.L. You know Johnson and um, Tolly Ficklin. I mean, all of them are program kids. They've been here a while. They know what we expect. Uh, did a good job in the weight room this year. Um, and then, uh, you know, we got a. A, a new kid from, you know, transferred in from Hampton. His name's Robert Clark. He's really done a good job of helping some of the younger kids to, um, you know, understand how to practice and, you know, some of the finer points uh, as far as uh, running routes, things like that, uh, which honestly I needed because I'm, I'm a lineman guy. Um, but I mean, you know, leadership, look, leadership's easy when it's easy. All right, um, and that's what I try to tell them. I mean, you know, we're really not going to know what kind of leadership we got till we face some adversity, and that's where we're at. You know? And moving up to 11, man, you lose a couple of those rivalry games you used to have against some some schools, but just talk a little about playing some different teams and what that means for this team. Oh, it's exciting. You know, you know of course, you know, it leaves a bad taste in everybody's mouth around here. The last game we played against Holly Hill, we lost. Um, you know, uh, hats off to them, you know, no, no offense, but we just enjoyed, um, you know, we enjoyed playing them because, you know, it was physical and, you know, but, you know, as most of our other rivals in eight man also were moved up, you know, Clarendon Hall moved up, Patrick Henry moved up, you know, so, and they're in our conference, so we're still going to play them. Um, and, you know, it's, it's about with every level of football, you know, Change is a part of it, and uh, you know, when one rivalry dies, another one pops up. You know, we play Dorchester now, which you know, you know, from what I hear, used to be a pretty big deal around here. So, you know, we're excited. The kids are excited. Um, I know they're excited about tomorrow night, just for the chance to hit somebody besides themselves. Right. Um, you know, and uh, I think we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to be a different football team. Um, but we still have the opportunity to be a good football team.